The blessing of our sweet Jesus and Holy Spirit be with you all, heart dwellers. Well, you can imagine, dear family, I've been spinning and spinning, working on the thumb drive content. And so my mind has been in a place where it takes a lot of energy to calm down. Um, I'm sure you can relate. <laughs> it's kind of like an ocean-going freighter. You can't just turn the ship and be on your way. It takes five to ten miles to complete the turn. And so is my mind engaged in busy work. It takes time to tune back into our sweet Lord. And that's all part of hearing the Lord is how to tune into his channel. Well, he came and held me to his heart so tightly, and yet tears were streaming down his cheeks, and he said, I am in oceans of sorrow for what must come to pass. And I was feeling remiss because so many of you on the channel have such tender hearts. You talk about how you're moved to tears when you see him hurting. And I confess, I feel like I must be awfully callous because I seem to roll over it with only a sinking feeling in my heart. As a consequence of that, I seriously doubt my love for him. How can I be so unmoved by seeing him in this state? Jesus, of course, knew my thoughts. He was holding me close, and he began. We are united, Claire, on so many different levels. But were I to release to you all that you truly feel, to your conscious mind, you would cease functioning. But, Lord, I feel like my heart is callous and dead. Your heart has calluses on the outside that protect what goes on inside. Truly, you are compassionate, and the enemy would like you to think badly of yourself. Has he not always been the accuser, Claire? Lord, I must trust you in that. I just want to be one with you, and I truly want to console you. Please help me love you more. And he answered me, it's coming, it's coming. But shall I slay you with grief to get you there? I just can't connect with that, Lord. I just can't. And he answered, A man is known by his fruit. That should give you at least a clue. Stop quibbling with me and take my word for it. Cease this condemnation and settle it once and for all in your mind. Your heart is tender, beyond tender. I dwell there. Your thoughts and mine are one and the same. And I'd just like to take a moment to explain what he means there. Uh, when I sit down to listen to him for a message for you, or just to listen to him because I want to be with him, he puts thoughts into my head. They just kind of bubble into my head. It's Really, it's like an infused knowledge, an infused understanding. And sometimes he's uh, dictates to me very clearly, and other times he gives me an understanding, and then I have to put it into my own words. So he does dwell there, and he dwells in your mind and your heart as well. If you've given your life to him, he's there, living there, and many times his thoughts are your thoughts. You just don't recognize them. And it's interesting because Ezekiel pulled a card from our card file, and I just noticed it a few moments ago. And this is what it says. When you feel the impulse to condemn, you are receiving a thought from the demon or your fleshly, prideful mind. So that's a confirmation that uh, the condemnation is, is not conviction from the Lord. It's condemnation from the enemy trying to make me feel like I don't care. So he held me for quite a long time, at least three of Terry McAlman's songs, and I could feel the love exchange between us so strongly, heart to heart. I, aware of his divinity, was worshiping him in the songs, and he, aware of my frailty, was filling me with his strength, his love, and affirmation. But then the time came when he said, You must go to work now, my love. And I refocused my attention on sharing this with you. Right now, my fellow brides, 
The Lord needs your comfort and faithfulness to finish whatever is before you. Truly, what is written in the book of Revelation must soon begin to unfold. He's heartsick and longs for the tender touch of his bride, caressing his brow and comforting him. And that's the end of the message for tonight. But just a note, you may want to hold off on downloading the thumb drive contents until it's complete. There are quite a few changes coming. That's what I'm working on now, and hopefully tomorrow it will be complete, I'm hoping. And I'll share the contents with you when I'm finished so you'll know what to expect. In the meantime, your prayers mean a lot to me, guys. Please pray that our Heart Dwellers team will finish our assignments without leaving out a thing. Carol just finished editing another book, a companion volume to the tethered volume. She's including all the messages on heaven so that those who are left behind will be able to look forward to their reward after the tribulation. The Lord bless you all and thank you so much for your prayers and support.